Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking on a forest add-on for your 5M server. What this does is it adds a bunch of cool forest trees and cabin stuff and everything over in the uh, just the forests of San Andreas, which is really cool because um, by default there isn't a lot over there. You can't really do that much, but with this you can actually really enjoy a bunch of cool things. They um, it's a converted map from one of the online or single player ones, so you can look through here, look at all the photos of stuff it adds, what it adds to Polito, all the different things. Uh, all that good stuff is available there, um, but this is it for 5M, so in order to download it, you're going to go to the link down in the top of the description, just go ahead and click the download link once you are here. It'll take you to Google Drive, and you can see there is a lot of different things here. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, and you're actually going to uh, select what you want to actually download, so it will say all of the text stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for the one that I like. I like the mixed trees. And then you can also have the additional features that come with it. So if you wanted like the abandoned red car or any of those, you can download. But I'm just going to go with the mixed tree. So I'm going to right click that, click download, and it will say zipping one file. This could take a minute depending on how big the file is. I've not downloaded this before, so it may take a moment. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our 5M server folder, go to our server data or wherever your folder where you keep all your resources. In my case, it's server data dash resources. And then I'm just going to go in here and wait this is where we're going to actually put our map file so you can see it's almost fully downloaded here and in a second we'll be able to drag it in and actually use it um so if you wanted to you could just get one type of tree or another type of tree you can get those extra things and i do recommend reading over the text files on how it works so it has three different versions um there, there's so many different things you can do which is really really cool um and i really like recommend you actually take your time pick what you actually want and go from there because if you just pick randomly it's probably not going to look that good if you have a theme for your server make sure it's hooked into that theme because it can come out a lot better like that so i'm going to let this download um and once it's downloaded i will resume all right so you can see it is now downloaded so what we have to do is open up the zip file and inside the max trees it gives you two versions the more redwood trees or the more cedar trees so we're going to go with the redwood ones because i kind of like them and you can see in here you have to stream and underscore underscore resource dot lula so just drag in that um the, whatever one you want and you're going to edit the name of it we can get rid of this google drive in the back now we're going to edit the name by right clicking and renaming it we're just going to get rid of these extra things just to keep it as rrc we're going to go back to our server data and edit wherever your server.cfg file is and i'm going to do ensure um maybe it would be best if you could see it ensure and then rrc in my case because that's the name of the folder and you can see we have added that we've gone ahead and saved it now if we go ahead and start up our start.bat file you can see it said started resource rrc so we know it has loaded successfully and we are good to go so let's hop in game and take a look at these really really cool forests all right, so we have gotten in game and if we go ahead and start going over here, you can see there is a lot more trees that aren't normally here and it's not just in that one little area. It's just all over the different forests in the game. So it adds so many new cool trees into the game. They're like literally it just makes it come alive in my opinion. So go explore this, go have fun. I really really like this. It adds so much more unique aspects to the game and I honestly really like how it looks. You may suffer a little bit of frame rate if you're on a lower frame rate type device. Um, I actually don't have any parachutes, so this is going to be a race against time to open up that and pull a parachute, pull a parachute, thank you. Um, I really like how it looks, um, and hopefully they can continue uh, creating new maps and stuff where they just make the world more um, engaged, because this looks a lot more realistic than those tiny trees that used to be here. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video, I know it was short, coming soon, 5 uh, PD, chase me, and all of that very soon, along with a coding tutorial on how to make a cool loadout plugin, so... Stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. My name is Noodles. I will see you in the next video in two days. Goodbye, everyone.